On to problem 3 of the FEP Highway Design homework. What type of vertical curve sag or crest and what minimum length of curve is needed if the approach grade is positive 1.34%, the departure grade is negative 7%, the design speed is 40 miles per hour, and passing sight distance must be satisfied. So let's figure out what type of curve we're dealing with first. Our approach is going to go up at a slight curve there of 1.34%, and then we're going to come down a lot sharper at a minus 7%. So when we go up and come down there, that is a crest vertical curve. Vertical curve. Uh, and then the question is, uh, what's the passing sight distance? Um, what kind of um, length of curve can we have to satisfy that passing sight distance. So we'll go ahead to our FEP handout here, table 8.4, which has our passing sight distance. In this case, we have a design speed of 40 miles per hour. So we go straight across, and we can see that our K factor there is 129. So this is just a reprint of the table from the 2018 Ashto book, a green book. So that's what this looks like. It's table 336. And again, for um, our speed, our design speed of 40 miles per hour, we see that our rate of vertical curvature K design is 129. So we'll use that K value, and we know that that L is equal to KA. So in this case, our K is that 129. And our A, remember, is just that algebraic difference of the grades, um, so G2 minus G1, absolute value. In this case, my G2 is minus 7, uh, and my G1 is uh, 1.34. We have a, we're subtracting that from there, so we get a negative 8.34, but that's absolute value, so my A is equal to 8.34. So I have 129 times 8.34, which uh, gives me an answer of 1075 0.86 feet, which I'll go ahead and round to 1,076 feet for the length for that crest vertical curve.